Hi guys, my name is Matilda Lundqvist. I am 18 years old and this June I graduated from high school. Meaning that I'm right now in a position where I'm trying to figure out what I want to do when I get older and so on. Anyhow, it is actually the time spent in school that I would like to talk about today. Because all of my years in school, I was a SWAT. And now you might wonder, what is a SWAT and what does she mean by saying that she always was one? And summarized, a SWAT is a person who is taking school very seriously and making sure that he or she is getting the highest grades in all subjects. But why wasn't this ever cool? And how come that I was always being picked at for having those traits of character? Because I always was, and I never got the feeling that anyone understood me or understood the amount of time that I put into schoolwork and the performance anxiety that it actually gave me. Because I would also like to elucidate the difference between a SWAT and a person who considers school really something easy. The difference between getting the highest grades thanks to hours of preparing and practicing and getting them by just improvisely doing your best and just succeeding. The difference between showing up at a test all tired from the last minute extra studying that you did last night or showing up all rested since you didn't have to study at all. The difference between knowing a whole bunch of stuff already before or getting to know about them while you're in school. The result might be the same. Good grades, future possibilities, good contacts with the teachers, wealth. But the road to that same goal is way different. And I guess that you guys already figured out that I was one of the persons who had to work my ass off in order to get my good grades and my future possibilities and my, hopefully, future lucrative job. But it was always hard for me to have my mind so focused on that same goal, but always being kind of interrupted by the people around me and their opinions and their condescending comments about the whole situation. Comments such as, how come you're funny when you're SWAT? And you cannot in a million years be a SWAT because you're cool. There were also these other comments, the comments that no one ever said to intentionally hurt my feelings or to make me feel bad about how much time I put into my schoolwork. The ones that often got to me the most and put me under horrible pressure. Picture a situation where I'm about to receive a test back after it being corrected by the teachers. I'm obviously a bit nervous since I studied a lot for that test and I barely ever feel confident in that sort of situation. I feel a bit anxious before I turn my paper around. What are you so scared about? You always get the highest grade. You don't even have to look at your paper. Of course it's an A. It's always an A. Oh, thank you classmates. I feel so good about turning my paper around now. Thank you. What if I was to turn my paper around? and find out that I got another grade than they assumed. I would have been devastated and I hated those comments. But although comments and prejudices bear the stamp of my entire schooling, I never gave in. And do you know how proud I am for that? Not only for graduating school with straight A's, not only for keeping way more doors open than the others did, but mainly because I kept taking school seriously because I thought I was cool. I knew I was cool. Min syster dog när jag fortfarande gick på gymnasiet och det kom liksom helt utan att jag hade en...